everyone, welcome back to Manning Live. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim Mann and this is my husband Richard Mann. Hello. Today we're going to show you our Retro 51 pen today. It's the P47 Thunderbolt. Um, we're really excited about this pen. It's part of the Vintage Metal Smith range and Richard is a massive fan of aviation and you can see his collection here. Yeah, actually, do you know, I think this is one of the main reasons I personally love Retro 51. The aviation collection, uh, my prized aviation collection here, I absolutely love. And Kim will tell you, I don't let anyone use them or borrow them or move them. So um, <laughs> this pen is just the kind of pen that I get very excited about. So you can see, this is a P47 Thunderbolt rollable and it's known as the jug. So you have to excuse me, I'm gonna read off my notes here, but basically, it was a very rugged and renowned aeroplane sustaining heavy damage. It had eight 50 cal machine guns mm. and it was an air fighter and a ground attack aircraft. And did you know this was the inspiration for the Thunderbolt 2? I think it's got a picture of me on there as well. <laughs> yeah, actually that's a good point. Kim just pointed out, we'll show you a close-up shot as well in the bottom corner of the video. But um, it's got some nose art on this edition and it's Dallas Blondie. And it does look a bit like you. It's got the blonde hair, I have to say. <laughs> well, brilliant. Do you want to know some facts about this aeroplane? Kit? Yes, please. <laughs> in fact, for those who don't know, I um, met Kim at an airline in the United Kingdom. I was a pilot and Kim was cabin crew. So we do actually share a love for aviation. So my love of aviation is probably greater than Kim's. But to be fair, you do quite like aeroplanes and things yeah. involved with aviation. It had 2,000 horsepower. Oh, that means nothing to me. <laughs> and it was very quick. It had a top speed of 467 miles per hour. And it was actually twice as heavy as a Spitfire. And this aeroplane weighed just under eight tonnes. So it was a big aeroplane, but surprisingly agile and fast. Mm. Brilliant. But if you look at the pen design a little bit more, it's acid etched. And it has a great deal of detail on as well. Yeah. The top disc is very nice indeed as well. This will fit lovely in your collection. It will. Um, actually, I've got a bit of a surprise for you then, Rich. Oh. Uh, seeing as he thinks he knows about all of the Retro 51 aviation themed pens, we're going to do a little spot check. What now? Yeah. Um, okay then, right then. So I'm not going to start, oh no, yeah, I'll start with an easier one. Let's start with this one. Tell us what you know about that one then, Rich. Okay, this is too easy. This is a Manning Spitfire. We did a thousand pieces of this particular design and you can see it's got D-Day markings and this was um, depicted by a Canadian flag because that was a reserve Canadian squadron and Wing Commander Johnny Johnson's aeroplane and his registration. Okay, then. That's too easy. Right then, let's go a little harder then. Let's go for this classic. Oh. <laughs> now, I've got some friends who'd liked this pen. So this is a Flying Tiger. This is a very rare pen, and if you can get hold of one of these, I would, you know, keep it very safe, because if you look on eBay and you search this particular pen, you'll see that they're going for a huge amount of money, and this is one of my prized pens. Um, I was very lucky. One of our customers did a trade with me, and um, I swapped a Retro, uh, Retro 51 Spitfire Collection Edition artist proof for this pen and um, the person that swapped this Flying Tiger, thank you very much. It's one of my absolute favourite pens. Okay then, um, let's, go, oh, let's go for the Smithsonian. Ah, so. My favourite one. Now, <laughs> this is Vega mm -hmm. and this is the aeroplane that Amelia Earhart flew across the Atlantic as the first solo female pilot and this is part of the Smithsonian collection. Mm -hmm. Great. Is that right? Yeah, it uh, is. It's few. not the only uh, one that celebrates females. We've got the Rosie there as well, haven't we? That's right. Um, how about this one? Ah, so this is another line product. So this is a Corsair, and this aeroplane uh, was a fighter that was used in the Pacific mainly, and it had a gull wing design, and you can see it's got the light blue underneath, and that was to help camouflage it. So if that aeroplane was flying over ships or submarines, it was difficult to see because it would look like the sky. And the dark blue 
was there so that if you were above the aircraft and you looked down, it would be camouflaged because of the dark blue Pacific Ocean. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I think last one, and I'm going to go with this one. I know the story, but I think it's my favourite. Um, let's go for this one. Mm. Okay. So this is a Manic exclusive, and this is a Lancaster Dam Busters edition. Mm -hmm. So you can see this is a Guy Gibson aircraft, and on the top it has camouflage, and on the bottom it has night markings and you can see that the exhausts have a cover so you couldn't see the flames and from the ground if you looked up um, it would mask the flames coming out of the engines on the Lancaster so it's less likely they'd be spotted by the Germans. This aeroplane uh, flew with a special bomb. It was a great big cylinder that spun up and it bounced across the top of a lake and then went below torpedo nets and blew up the front of the dam and it's very famous so they, that's why they're called the dam busters and we did 500 of these and they're all sold in fact mm -hmm. kim i was going to tell you i've done something that you might not know about <laughs> oh, gosh. more stickers <laughs> right so we have this special thunderbolt sticker so it's a six by four print and if you buy the brand new p47 from manink.co.uk, the first 50 customers will receive this sticker for free. I'm not sure if you knew about that, but they're in no. the um, in Okay, the then I'll so have to remember already. that one then. And then, Brilliant. of course, don't forget, Kim's got some of the other stickers that we send out with all our aviation okay. specials. And yeah, you can see them. So all but I'm going to give you a test. Let's have a look. So, oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to remember them what all. What type of plane is this one? Uh, Spitfire. Okay, it's a Spitfire. What type of plane is this one? Um, it's a P-51. Yeah, it is. It is. And actually, can you show you guys? Yep, there we go. It's P-51 rollerball. And, and fountain pen. Excellent. So we've got those. And? That's the Hurricane. And tell us a bit about the Manink exclusive Hurricane. Oh, well, um, we, they're still for sale. There's still some. How many have we got left now? Oh, only about 20. There's not many. So there's only 20 mm. left and we had 500 to start. And then what will happen when they sell out? It's gone. No more. No more? No more. So there's only 20 left? <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll have, to, we'll have to come up with a new design, won't we? Actually, do you know? <laughs> Funnily enough. Don't spoil it. <laughs> can I talk a little bit about only it? Only a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Well, we recently had an exclusive, but we have another exclusive coming out very soon, and it is aviation related. It's also one of my favourite aeroplanes. Okay, no more, no more. That's enough. And it's got two engines. Okay. Right then. <laughs> well, thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. Please like, share, and subscribe to our videos as well. And uh, the link to our website is in the description below. Thanks again. Cheers.